Hello, we're back with another comments video, and I've gotten a lot more comments now, so let's read them. When will you continue your analyzing series, specifically episodes on Alan Becker's AVA series? I posted an episode recently, and it did very well. When it comes to AVA, Alan Becker hasn't posted a new AVA episode yet, so when he does, I will hit the fandom with more AVA related content. If you were given $10,000, what would you spend it on? Dominoes, a camera, or save it? I think I'll probably save it, because dominoes here are expensive. When you first started making videos, by any chance anyone supported you or at least helped you? Well, my amazing brother Ben, he helped me for the first video on this channel, my homework. He was the cameraman and he did a tremendous job uh, working with me. My dad bought me the Nikon D600, so I guess my dad too. Where do you live? Australia. Mate. What animation slash editing apps do you use? For editing, I use Clipchamp, and for animation, I've used Wick Editor, and recently I have used Procreate. I'm surprised how not a lot of people know about Clipchamp. It's very easy to use, and it's for free. Well, some parts are not free. Hey, I've learned my way through it. This is kind of deep, but what single factor of modern young people's lives would you change to improve them? I think you should go follow your dream and pursue it as fast and good as possible. You only have so much time in your parents' house before you leave to society. Many young people live miserably because they are basically slaves to society. You know, living a life they don't want. Try to be free first, and then you can talk about your hobbies. That's what my dad told me. I can't change anything from a person because they're all different. But really, it comes to you. Do you want to earn your freedom? Then grab your dream and work smart, not hard. However, pain and suffering is the only thing that will make a human grow. You can't go through rainbows and unicorns to be free. So if you're like 13 to 18 or even below 13, it's not too late to follow your dream and fight for it. Because you only have so much time before you start paying the bills. So do it and go for it. If you ever get monetized, what would you do with the money? I am monetized and I'm going to buy a stabilizer for my camera or something special. Do you watch anything else non-Alan Becker related? Yes, definitely. I don't just do Alan Becker content on this channel, I, I'm i a filmmaker. Um, you, you know that, right? What are your tips on starting a YouTube channel? I'm needing some. Every famous YouTuber gets a lucky strike late or early. My tip is pick a genre that you're interested in and keep doing that because if you don't like what you're doing and you get your lucky strike, then you're gonna end up not liking it and you're probably gonna quit. And also, reward your consistent viewers with consistent content because if you don't have consistent content, then people won't think that you're worth subscribing for. So yeah, do that. I post like, what, once a week? So um, yeah. What is your favorite Alan Becker character? Green. I feel like I just started a war. Tell everyone that Lemonade told them to subscribe or else. I think most of my constant viewers know that I don't say like and subscribe because I think that phrase is a bit cringe. But, ah well, Lemonade told me to do that, so go. If the sun is 100 kilometers tall and my crocodile is crying, how many babies do I need for flying at the speed of light? You will probably need rainbow because penguins don't like Christmas. Two things. What do you think of the promotion towards smaller YouTubers on YouTube? I think it's very good that YouTube is now promoting the small YouTubers. For example, Zuzutunes and Ducky, who are storytime animators, got like a lot of attention from YouTube promoting their first videos. And uh, it was very good, and I liked that, and uh, now they have more subscribers than me. Fuck. What do you feel about not being able to make anything top your analyzing how many cakes Red has wasted videos 500,000 views? Something's gonna top it. I can feel it. It's gonna happen pretty soon. YouTube algorithm's a bitch. What would you do if someone in your family deleted your channel? Well, if it was for no reason or a prank, I would definitely be very angry at them. But I know there is always a reason to why someone deletes a channel. But if they do for a reason, then I can start another channel and I can make an even more and bigger and better channel with the knowledge that I have now and maybe I can make something really cool. Maybe I can make something even better and bigger and it could be very cool. Just saying. But I don't want this channel to get deleted. What would you do if a Lego guy came to life and pulled out a shotgun? Well, I think I would do something like- Everyone get the fuck up now! You! Get down! Tell everyone I'm a donut. I just did.
Why do you like analyzing Alan Becker's videos frame by frame? I do it because I want people to appreciate the small details that animators put in their work, like me. We live in a generation now that has short attention spans and doesn't appreciate and are pretty ungrateful of how videos are produced. I'm not those kind of people, I appreciate every video that gets posted on YouTube, good or bad. And I always know that in every video that has been posted on YouTube, someone put their work into it, no matter how little or small. And that is the end of the video. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, see you later. Um, I don't know when the next um, Q&A is going to come. Maybe if I have, like, 2,500, I don't know. But, um, hey, that's, that's the end. See ya.